Hey, it's me, Marquez World. All things professional wrestling, my life. We got some news. We got some news. Let's talk about it, guys. YouTube and Tech Talk. What is going on with this WWE ID? Let me talk about it. When I first reported about this, we do love to talk pro wrestling news, right? Um, it was set and it was told to be some kind of scouting um, program where they scout for the future. Um, they scout for the next big thing. Um, and it was WWE's kind of scouting um, program. But um, as days went by, it kind of, things have changed in the nature. What I mean by that, it was told, or it was reported initially, the program was a scouting program where they tried to get the top indie stars or top names to be part of the WWE ID program. They pay for their, um, they pay for their um, training. They don't care what other bookings they do because they're not going to be on TV. So I really, really thought that's what the program was going to be. And then we were told that some gyms were going to be the WWE ID gym, like they were associated with WWE. But as time went by, yes, yes, they did say they were going to advertise them on their social media. They did say that, it was stated that, but it's given at this rate, I thought they would post the people that they actually are going to sign. I thought they were going to post the people that they actually had hope for. Yes, yeah, most everyone that is part of this program, yeah, they have hope for them, but it doesn't mean that they actually want to sign them. Yeah, they do see something in you, but it doesn't mean they certainly want to sign you. So that being said, I'm very shocked with this news article that we have at WrestleZone, WWE ID prospect to be revealed at Beyond Wrestling and more. More WWE ID prospects will be reviewed at a few upcoming events. WWE continues to identify prospects we have in ID as part of the WWE independent development. WWE ID is the company's new program that's designed to help, to help independent wrestlers. Again, they are supposed to help independent wrestlers. Um, I guess they are trying to help them by promoting them on their social media. But we have things like this where wrestling blog sites and WWE, they're announcing ahead, hey, y'all, we're going to be at this wrestling event. We're going to reveal the next person that we may be interested in. Make sure y'all tune in to that wrestling event to see who's going to be the next WWE ID person. But we may sign because, again, WWE ID is a program where they try to help you to see if they want to sign you. So that being said, I don't get this press release, this telling us ahead of time who you guys are going to reveal and where they're going to be at, revealed at. It's giving, I don't know, it's giving publicity. I don't know what this is at this point. Um, why are we announcing when we're going to scout someone and what event they're going to be announced at? I thought the whole program was to help you guys scout people, such as paying for their training, um, promoting their, it said highlights of their matches. I thought you guys were going to promote the WWE IDs highlights or some of their matches on your social media platform. But now it's, hey guys, check us out. It's us, WWE ID. We will be at this wrestling event where we will reveal a new wrestling ID prospect. Come watch the event and make sure you tune in to see who else we may be interested in. It just confuses me. Like, why are we doing these announcements now? Who and these big reveals? If you don't even know if you're going to sign this person, um, I'm not trying to be negative. It's just a lot of pressure for everybody or most some of these people that are going to be part of this WWE ID program where they have this big, grandest reveal, and then two months later, it's like, oh, yeah, we're not going to sign you. Thank you for being part of the WWE ID program, but after further consideration, we see that um, you're not ready for the big time, and 
Yeah, we did put you on social media and we did tell everyone and we did have this big reveal party to reveal that you are still part of the w that you are part of the WWE ID program. But after two months or after five months, we decide we don't want you. It's up to you to let everyone know that you're no longer being considered basically for WWE because if five months go by and they don't sign you, they're not considering you no more. They went on to the next person who they may consider. And if they like them, they will actually sign them. So again, this goes back to what I was saying about how this can be a curse because I don't know if um, you have this WWE ID program and they don't sign you. I don't know what happens after. I don't know if you are kept um, in the database and you are not blackmailed or blackballed or um, blacklisted, but is there a limit where you can't apply for WWE again since they just spent a lot of money on you and they decided they want to move forward right now? I mean, it, I hope this doesn't ban them or I hope this isn't on their record for two years where the systems, when they try to apply with their name, is already flagged. Hey, we already... We already have this person under the WWE ID program. They were one of the people we rejected. How long would that be in the system? Um, that's some things you have to consider. Um, it's kind of embarrassing for the wrestlers if WWE has all of these um, social media posts and these big reveals revealing that some of these indie wrestlers are part of the WWE ID program just to see a couple months later they're no longer part of it and then they have to announce to their fan base uh, by the way, WWE passed on me. Um, it was good while it lasted. That's why I was hoping they would make these big announcements when they actually sign someone to WWE or when they actually have someone on a WWE ID contract where they know they're going to keep them where they're revealing to the world this is one of our WWE ID prospects that we've been watching, that we've been helping pay for their training. Here are some of their highlights. And then you show some of their highlights. And then a couple of weeks, you show us more. And then a couple of weeks, you already made the decision you're going to hire them. So we see them WWE programming. We already saw some of the WWE ID posts, the highlights you guys posted prior. So we're a little familiar with them. I was hoping they would go that route. But the route they're going, they're announcing a lot of these people that they're just scouting or that they're currently looking at. But it's not even a guarantee that they're going to be here in the next two months. So it's just why these big reveals. Is this like something for the blogs to pick up on? For WWE to get a bigger buzz? Um, I mean, good for the indie wrestler that gets this big reveal tomorrow at um, let's see. Where did they say they were going to go? At Beyond Wrestling, it's good that they're going to have this huge announcement but who's going to announce that they didn't get signed or that they didn't make it who's going to do that announcement so a lot of pressure to whoever this is um good luck to them i'm hoping the best for them um jack okay so like jack cartwell ice williams marcus mather sam holloway and others have been confirmed as ID prospects in a series of tweet WWE teases I, WWE ID teases that more prospects will be revealed at the Northern Crown on November 17th Beyond Wrestling November 14th Memphis Wrestling November 17th like okay why are you telling us all about all these people you guys are going to reveal so I don't know what this is but hopefully they keep all the people that they're revealing because this is a lot but um TikTok, I know the 10 minute is going to be away. I am kind of watching Leo Rush and Swerve fights. That's why I'm like making pauses. It's a good match. AEW's on. But um, life update, I'm here Wednesday. Um, hey, hey, hey. I will try to go live on YouTube for Friday, um, Friday Night Smackdown. Yeah, um, or no, TNA. I won't do TNA. But life update, I will go live on my YouTube for TNA. But TikTok remains safe. Peace. Um, let's continue to talk for YouTube. Sorry, sorry. I am tired. I had a long errands to do after work. 
then I went to the gym and there was actually two classes. I go to boot camp, then there was another new new class um athlete training something like that um that class was right after boot camp so i did do a round of that and then my regular workout after so um it was a longer night at the gym so i'm a little bit more tired coming later than usual cooking my food of course right now but um a little tired um what do you guys think about this wwe id i do think it's a lot of pressure but i do think it is a good program i will give wwe that it is a good program and a good platform for these wrestlers, but I just I just feel bad for those that don't make it and how they have to tell their fan base after all this um, social media and all this big reveals and shit that they didn't make it through. So I kind of feel for them, but it is what it is. I mean, at least they got some exposure. But um, YouTube, I am fine. I hope you guys are. I will probably do TNA tomorrow night, so I will announce that a live review. But um, Thank you guys for the support. I hope you guys are well, but um, this is Mark Hill's World. All things pro wrestling news in my life. Um, see you guys on the next video. Remain safe. And um, follow Pro Wrestling T, the Facebook group, where we um, gossip wrestling together. But again, I'll see you guys on the next video. This is Mark Hill's World. Some call me Mark. Remain safe.